Hey guys, Dan here from the Hicks 411. Today in front of me, I have a Mercedes ECUs. Two of them, one mark old, one mark new. I have an ignition switch with the key. And in this video, I will show you how the process of programming a good donor ECU to the vehicle when the old computer is lost or unreadable can't communicate with it to read the original key data so when the clone of the ecu is not possible this video will show you how it's done now if you need this service i'll have a link below or at the end of the video i will show you what i'm talking about so i have an old ecu that is connected we already have our adapters everything's connected so we're not wasting a lot of time we're going to go to dos manager engine computer and as you can see when we're clicking read the old original ECU is trying to communicate but it's not communicating with the programmer so it will not communicate with the car essentially it is a bad ECU now if you lost we've heard people of losing these ECUs so somehow buying a car without ECU then of course similar programming instructions on how to do that so first thing is what we're going to do is connect same part number donor in this case it's already marked new it is the same part number zoom in so this is a donor ecu it's new so obviously to program this to the car we need to virginize and make it like new otherwise a dealer or anybody won't be able to program it so what we're going to do try to communicate with the donor ecu and see if we can communicate with that and as you can see we got key one two three four five six seven eight it's programmed to another car that we don't want it to be programmed so we got to make it virgin so i'm going to try to virginize this make it brand spanking new now, once the virginize or renew is done, you can take it to a dealer or any Mercedes shop. They can program it on the car, so you'll have to tow it in to your car. Now, if you can't tow it for some reason, we can do it on the table if you provide the ignition switch with the key. Now, supposedly it virginized, and of course, you can see keys zeroed out. It's not personalized and not activated. So this is a brand new, essentially, computer. Or renewed so now that I got this computer renewed what I'm gonna do is disconnect disconnect from my abritas and we're gonna connect to the uh, ignition switch so when connect my abritas then I will connect my power supply to ignition switch and if you can see we got good power supply so this key and this is original from the car and we're gonna go to easy s e i s and grab the key information from it now i already got the password extracted from it usually to extract the password on these especially if you don't have a key it can take up to 24 hours i already got it unlocked so it'll be pretty quick to read the data so let's see ignition power supply here read again for some reason it's not reading the data so let's double check make sure everything's connected on table there is this this is for the ECU so this is connected let me unplug it does unlock and the power supply is there so let me restart my DOS. All right, as you can see, now that we've read all our key information from the ignition switch, I will save this data. So I will save as customer ignition FBS. Now we're going to read the customer's VIN number. So we'll just save it as 
customer ignition VIN. And we are gonna save that. So now that we read ignition switch, we're gonna unplug my power supply, my ignition switch wiring, and we're gonna go back to my Virgin ECU. I'll click it in here, give it a power, and now we're connected with our new ECU. I will go back to my engine, and then I will read the engine computer. Connection, connection, connection. A lot of times when you're swapping with between computers, Bridas does not want to read it right off the hand. Okay, so uh, personalized, brand new ECU. So we'll click personalize it. We do have the information. So I'll just click it as customer ignition FBS file. So I'll click open and it's gonna transfer the keys to the ECU. Now that it's done, all the keys are now from the ignition switch in the new donor ECU. As you can see, key number one is 290F, second 9090D, and if we go back up, 290F, 9090D, these are the keys. And apparently customer has three of these keys for the same vehicle. So now we got this program personalized. Let's write the VIN number into this computer. So ignition VIN number. This is the VIN number. I'll copy and paste. We'll push program. Programming done. And we're going to read 5828. We'll, we'll save the old one because it looks like it didn't change it. So let's just double check. Customer old VIN from ECU. Let's just clarify that we got our VIN number changed. 5828, so right. And then we'll just write the VIN. Nope, it did not change the VIN. So what we're gonna do, a lot of times when it doesn't change the VIN, if you've seen my other video, since the ignition switch VIN number and the ECU VIN number data is a little bit different, it does not want to write it sometimes, or sometimes ECU to ECU a little bit different, it does not want to write it sometimes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push write VIN, I will push customer old VIN number from the ECU. See it pulls up the old VIN number, the one that does not want to remove, and we're just going to paste our good VIN number the original VIN number of the ignition switch. Now, if you can see programming done, let's read it. And boom, the VIN number, it's changed. This is what it used to be, now this is what it is. After all this is done, you wanna make sure now that it's personalized with the keys, you need to activate it. Lock this ECU to this ignition switch. So, unit activation is done. Let's just read and make sure it's personalized and locked. So it's reading the data that we just programmed. And of course it's personalized. We can see the keys, not zeros. It is activated, so it's locked to this ECU. And of course the VIN number, you can see the VIN number of our vehicle. So once again, if you like what you see, hit that thumbs up, uh, subscribe. I will see you in the next video, and if you do need this service done uh, in Gen ECU renewed or programmed with ignition switch, we could do that for you, link below or at the end of the video. Thanks again, see you next time, bye.